What's up everybody? K4ZXX Jeff here and I just wanted to uh, go over MQQT or Wi-Fi uh, with a T-beam and the most stable way to use it most people just don't have their devices configured properly so see if I can get this to focus so once you get your T-beam connected to your device so let's configure your device first your phone device I'm just using an old Android tablet here. So the first thing you want to do is, is go into your settings. Okay. Now this tablet already has service on it. So you can if you don't have service on your device, then you'd want to configure your Wi-Fi. Okay. Then once your Wi-Fi is on, uh, you want to come in here and under Bluetooth. I'm sorry. You want to come in under Connections and go to Hotspot and Tethering. If you have that, and make sure that your Bluetooth tethering, you're sharing this internet connection via Bluetooth. Make sure that's turned on. Okay? Back back out of that. That's the first thing. So you want to make sure that Bluetooth is on. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And then go into connections. Hotspot and tethering. Make sure that Bluetooth tethering is turned on. Okay. Then just configure your let's configure your T beam. So we're gonna go into settings, okay, to radio configuration. And then we want to make sure that MQTT is on. Okay. Wait a minute. That's not the right spot, is it? No. Let's go into network. So you want to turn your Wi Fi on, but leave the SSID and PSK lines blank nothing in them make sure that Ethernet is turned off okay so Wi-Fi is enabled SSID and PSK are blank you're not connecting your device to Wi-Fi your phone is already connected to Wi-Fi okay so then let's back back out and go into the LoRa menu well come on let's go into the LoRa menu there we go okay and make sure that your TX is enabled Use modem preset, we're on long fast. You can't ignore MQTT from here. Okay. Then go into Bluetooth. Make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled. Okay. Then we're going to go into MQTT.
and this one down here this proxy to client enabled make sure that that's turned on so that allows you to a have Wi-Fi turned on on your T-Beam and you are controlling it through Bluetooth so these steps you need to have proxy client enabled and then under network come on make sure Wi-Fi is enabled and that there is no SSID or PSK leave those blank because remember you're sharing your device you're sharing its internet over Bluetooth okay and this is going to make your TV run a whole lot better on MQTT. I don't ever get any dropped anything. It doesn't ever disconnect or anything like that. So also let me uh this is the uh, new T beam case from Laura Tactical. You can find it at Laura off grid dot link I'll leave a link below the video and this case works for regular T beams and the T beam supreme it's all one case and uh, it's a really nice case for both doesn't matter what you have and uh, I believe that's it so I see a lot of messages on long fast about people that are having issues with their t-beam not staying connected or crapping out or whatever like this guy T-Beam does not does work okay with MQTT but it's gonna be packed in here soon I don't, I don't know what that means but I see a lot of messages on here about people saying that their T-Beam is not working as they want it to or it's like disconnecting or anything like that you know this this device here has been up and running continuously on MQTT for I think uh, my uptown now is like a month or something and even though you can shut it down or whatever and people do shut them down I leave it up and running all the time I don't ever have any problems with it you just configure your device the way I showed you if you're sharing you're sharing Bluetooth internet. You're sharing internet over Bluetooth. And then you're using proxy client on your device in MeshTastic. And you are leaving your, you turning Wi Fi on in MeshTastic. And you're leaving blank the entries for the SSID and the uh, password. Okay, that's it. See you.